I know that I'm ready to do a reaction video. And this is a re and this video that I'm reacting to is from a YouTuber called Creepy Pasta Boom, who basically does these videos where she basically reads like some either creepy pasta or old nursery rhymes and and some as well as some fairy tales. And if I remember correctly, I think Creepy Pasta Boom is also a member of Tats Top Videos as well. I think, if I remember correctly, um, uh, the video that I'll be reacting to on Creepy Pasta Boom's YouTube channel is the Little Match Girl. I will put a link to the original video in the description box for anybody who's interested. Um, and without further ado. Uh, Let's get to the reaction part of the field. cold. Snow was falling, and it was almost dark. Evening came on. No, I had to think for a second there, just... I don't know why, but for some reason I had to think for a second there. Like, what... I don't... About why would anybody say no to a doll? But... Uh... Hey... Uh... Yeah... Hopefully, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I had to think for a second there for some reason. I don't even know why. The last evening of the year, and in the cold and gloom, a poor little girl, bareheaded and barefoot, was walking through the street. Of course, when she left her house, she had slippers on. But what could have they been? They were very big slippers, way too big for her, and they belonged to her mother. The little girl had lost them running across the road, where two carriages had rattled by terribly fast. One slipper she had not been able to find again, and the boy had run off with the other, saying he could use it very well as a cradle someday when he had children of his own. Wait a minute, if I remember correctly, isn't this like a, a Hans Christian Andersen um, story? I just realised, this is a, I think this is a, if I remember correctly, Quickly, the little match girl is a Hans Christian Andersen story. Unless I'm mistaken, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a very smart person. So there, the little girl walked on her naked feet, which were quite red and blue from the cold. In an old apron, she carried several packages of matches, and she held a box of them in her hand. No one had bought any from her all day long, and no one had given her a cent. Shivering with cold and hunger, she crept along, a picture of misery, this poor girl. The spelt like fell on her long, fair hair, which hung in pretty curls over her neck. In all of the windows, lights were shining, and there was a wonderful smell of roast goose, for it was New Year's Eve. Yes, she thought of that. In a corner formed by two houses, one of the projected farther up into the street than the other, she sat down and drew her little feet under her. She was getting colder and colder, but she did not dare go home. For she had sold no matches, and nor had earned a single cent, and her father would surely beat her. Besides, it was cold at home, for they had nothing over them but a roof, through which the wind whistled even though the biggest crack could have been stuffed with straw and rags. Her hands were almost dead from the cold. Oh. Yeah, that, that sounds like a nightmare. I don't know about you lot, but that literally sounds like a nightmare. How much one little match might warm her? If she could only take one from the box and rub it against the wall and warm her hands. She drew one out. Scratch. How it sputtered and burned. It made a warm, bright flame, like a little candle. She held her hands over it, but it gave a strange light. It really seemed to the little girl as if she was sitting before a great iron stove with shining brass knobs and a brass cover. How wonderfully the fire burned. 
how comfortable it was. The youngster stretched out her feet to warm them too, and the little flame went out. The stove vanished, and she only had the remains of a burnt match in her hand. She struck another match against the wall. It burned brightly, and when the light fell upon the wall, it became transparent, like a thin veil, and that she could see through it into a room. On the table was a snow-white cloth that was spread, and on it stood a shiny dinner service. The roast goose was steamed gloriously, stuffed with apples and prunes, and what still the better, the goose jumped down from the dish. I think I picked the wrong video to react to because this is starting to make me feel hungry. And I just gone through eating like uh, about four or five packets of crisps. Or if you're selling it in America or Canada, it'll be potato a pack of it'll be packets of potato chips. I've gone through like four or five packets already. And waddled along the floor with a knife and fork in its breast, right over to the little girl. And then the match went out, and she could only see a thick, cold wall. She lighted another match, and then she was sitting under the most beautiful Christmas tree. I feel bad. Much larger and more I wanna admit, I do feel bad for this old kid because um because like for obvious reasons I don't think I need to explain why because because it, it literally it literally does sound like nobody gave a damn about this kid and and I and and I mean the kid in the story more beautiful than the ones that she seen last Christmas through the glass door in the rich merchant's home. Thousands of candles burned on the green branches, and the colored pictures like those in the print shops looked down at her. The little girl reached out her hands towards them, but then the match went out. So the Christmas lights mounted higher. She saw them, for now as bright as the stars in the sky. And one of them fell down, forming a long line of fire. Now, someone is dying, thought the little girl, for her old grandmother, who was the only person who had ever loved her, and who is now dead had told her that when a star fell down, a soul went up to God. She rubbed another match against the wall. It became bright again, and in the glow, the old grandmother stood clear and shining, lovely and kind. Grandmother, cried the child, oh, take me with you. I know you will disappear when the match is burned out. You will vanish like the warm stove, the loving rose food, and the big, beautiful Christmas tree. And then she quickly struck a whole bunch of matches, for she wished to keep her grandmother with her. And the matches burned with such a glow that it became brighter than daylight. Grandmother had never been so kind and beautiful. She took the little girl into her arms, and both of them flew into the brightness and the joy above the earth, very, very high. And up there, there was neither cold, nor hunger, nor fear. But in the corner, leaning against the wall, sat the little girl with the red cheeks and the smiling mouth frozen to death on the last evening of the old year. The new year's sun rose upon the little pathetic figure. The child there sat, stiff and cold, holding her matches, with only one bundle almost burned. She wanted to warm herself, the people said. No one imagined what beautiful things she had seen, and how happily she had gone with her old grandmother into the bright new year. Damn. That is to present AF. And you don't go admit that's true. That is depressing AF. Yeah, um, just in case there's anybody out there who did not get the hint, basically, the unfortunate little match girl, rest in peace. Yeah, take that as you will. I'm not gonna say what exactly what I mean because I don't know if YouTube will allow me to say it. But yeah. Basically, rest in peace, little match girl. But yeah, um. But yeah, basically, the. Yeah, the little match girl ended up passing away in the. in a story at the end there. Yeah, that goes to show that. that there's. some people definitely don't really give a damn so much. Uh, and I will admit, I will admit, there have been occasions I've been one of those people. There has been occasions. Yeah, I, 
but I can't say exactly how many because I kind of lost count though. But yeah, um, I put a link to this original video on Creepy Pasta Opinions YouTube channel for anybody interested. And uh, if you enjoyed this reaction video, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Until next time, goodbye for now.